crayfish feast with Clodagh. Yes. I've already had a taste and it's lovely. <laughs> She's going to show us how to make a simple salmon fish fingers. Morning. Yeah, Good so morning. they're like fish, salmon fish cake fingers. So they're all of the ingredients that you'd make up a lovely fish cake. Yeah. So it's kind of like an adult fish finger, if that makes sense. Yeah, mm -hmm. nice. And we're doing it with salmon, which is gorgeous. You want to tell everybody how it tastes? Yeah, go on, what how do you does think? it taste? I'm going in. It's good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's yummy. Delicious. It's like, yeah, adult fish fingers. <laughs> I like your aioli. The aioli is very good, which I'm going to get you guys to make it's in a second. really nice. So I'm also going to show you how to make the homemade aioli, which is basically a posh name for garlic mayonnaise. It's yeah. so simple to make. Anyhow, for the fish cakes, I've got, or for the salmon fish cake fingers, it's a bit of a tongue twister, I've got mashed potato, and then this is salmon that I've poached, or you can roast it. You could also use cod if you wanted to, too, but you've got to flake it up, and it's got to be completely cooked through, and then you mix all that together. And then we've got all the lovely kind of flavours, like capers and scallions that we're putting in. Capers gives a lovely, gorgeous, salty flavour to mm. it. So if you kind of, like, are a little bit, ah, I'm not sure about the capers, like that they're too strong or salty, Pop a little bit in, give it a little taste. Because and you've chopped them. So I've chopped quite, them up finely. Still quite fine. Mm. And when they're like, when you taste that now, there isn't a huge, it's not very strong flavour no, in there, is it? It's really nice. It's and like scallions, a what, like spring onions? Yeah, scallions, spring onions, really chopped finely to give that lovely spring kind of flavour to it. I have put in lemon juice in here as well. And you can also put in lemon zest in here, which gives a really zesty flavour. Um, but the capers are definitely worth putting in. Mm. Really you could also nice. put little gherkins capers. in. You know those little mini cornichons? Mm -hmm. You could put those in too. And then mix it all up together. Now, if you feel like it's not binding right, because sometimes the salmon is a little bit more moist and you don't need the egg, just test it. And you could put in a tiny bit of an egg, but like... I'm so it like, should come together, sort of it, like squeeze together slightly? Yeah, it's got to set, because otherwise when you put it into the frying pan, it'll all break up and like fall oh, apart. Okay. And then a little bit of flour as well but like about two teaspoons of flour. And then I'm going to mix all this together. So while I'm mixing this and working on this, I'm going to get you to make the aioli okay. together. We're going to do this <laughs> as a team. So you've never made aioli before? No. Which is brilliant, OK? So, and, and you're going to love this sauce. You're going to make this forever. So you've got egg yolks, you've got oil, Dijon mustard, garlic and lemon, or you could use white wine vinegar. So talk me through it, Clodagh, what we So put here? your two egg yolks, and it's really easy to remember because it's two oh, egg yolks. Oh, they don't want to come out. They don't oh, want to come out. Oh, look at that baggy thing. And the colour of them is amazing. The <laughs> colour is amazing. Let's Those not chickens think have about seen that grass. too much. <laughs> and then whisk it. And then, Holly, what, what you do is yep. if you... There's two oils there. One is vegetable oil and one is olive oil. Vegetable, and, olive. Exactly. And it's 200 mils altogether, 100 mils of each. And the importance of using both... Is there 100 in there? 100 in there. And 100, and 100 in, there. in there. Yeah. Is that all the oil going to go into that? Yes. That's now, this lot. is like a magic. It's quite amazing. Now, it can split, but it won't because I'm here. So what you can do is just keep whisking. Do I pull them at the same no, time? one at a time. Oh. And very, very little, just like drizzle it. So drizzle it. Oh, you oh it's got to be drizzling. longer than that. Oh, it's going to be five o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> keep drizzling. Keep drizzling. And then once it's come together, then you can pour in a little bit more. No, it does get a little bit tight. Wait, well, hang on. Keep going. Do? No, keep going. Don't be afraid. Keep going. It's OK. Yeah, keep going. That's it. Brilliant. OK. Amazing. OK, yeah, that's great. Is this exciting? See you in about a half an hour, I'm kidding. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, just whisk a little bit faster there. Faster, 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 faster. Okay. Could you do it with a whizzer? You... Um, it, do, it doesn't turn out the same. Does it not? It really doesn't turn out the same. This I've nearly done the whole lot. OK, amazing. And amazing. it hasn't split. And then you can go into the, um, you can go into the olive oil. going in with right? the, ooh, That exactly. one's a bit runnier for some reason. Yeah. We're doing a very good job, though. Would you like you to stop? Are you okay? Really, really I'm all right. I'm okay. I'm going to put in the Dijon mustard. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. What's Dijon going in there? Mustard. That's Dijon mustard. Is this a three-person job? And then, well, not really, but um, I'm, it's your first time. How do you do this if there's just one of you? So this is what I do when I'm at home. Will I show you when I, what I do when I'm at home? Yeah. What I you just... can do it better than me? No. Yes, that or was you a, do that this. was the one. Is this what you're going to say? <gasps> That's it. Perfect, yeah. I was going to do that, but I also then pour it in at the... And then I mean, I know there's not a single thing go, that go, I can go, do go, that go, you can't go, do go. ten times I feel like you need okay, to switch. While you're, to you while you're doing that, I'm going to go on. back over to the, the salmon. I'll just swap fish hands. fingers. And Don't basically what good, you want to do... I'm not so good with my... Uh, Left, I'm not surprised. That's worse. Take your mixture out like that and then just mould it into the shape of a fish finger, OK? <clears throat> We're going to be here till tomorrow. And then what you want to do then is pop that? them into the fridge. Well, do I put it all in. You need a little pause. I don't need a pause. I'm perfectly overnight. fine. 
and they come out looking like this. And then into the frying pan, you put in your butter, and what we want to do is brown them on each side. How are you doing, guys? Well, we're going to be here till Christmas. It's done. Uh, would you like alioli with your with your roast potatoes? Uh, what on? is it supposed to look like? Like a mayon, like that. You need to really okay, get let's, going. Let's just, just go, go like go, this. Go, go. Here, one second. Okay, one second. No, I'm not giving up. And it looks like this at the end. Okay, and then what we do then is put your butter on the frying pan, brown the fish fingers on each side, and then into the oven for, and then into the oven for 15 minutes. Is this minutes. a joke? No, but you're like, you're, you're sort of stirring it. You need to like get the old air in it. Oh, get in there. Okay, so I, okay, okay, I've got a little bit of bad news. But I've got a bit of bad news. What? It's split. Who split it? Oh, you're going to hate me. You did. Put no, you didn't. In. Yeah, OK. It's did split. I? No, no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who did it, but it has split. But it's OK. How do you know that split? How do you know that split? Um, because it's runny. Oh. But it's OK. So how Hang did on, we right? do wrong? It's... What could possibly we have done wrong? It's, it's your first time. Don't worry. Oh, I've let myself let down. Let Don't worry. So you down. haven't left I'll anybody let down. down. OK, so when you're doing it at home and it hasn't split and it's come out looking like that, let's just pretend you got it to that stage, right? You put in a Ooh, little bit of fresh dill. Goodness for that. A little bit of fresh dill. Everything's fine. Your fish fingers have been in the oven for 15 minutes. They've been browned in butter and shaped. And then let's pop this in here. It is so good. And I'm going to learn a bit how to do that properly because, because it is worth it. Do you know it. what? It really is. It's mm. so easy to do, but you Quite do... Quite frankly, I can't be bothered. You can't be bothered. I'm going to buy it. It does take a couple of, a couple <laughs> of ghosts it, to get it done, but it's Loda, definitely worth thank this. you. <laughs> so nice. Thank you very much. Um, for all of the details of today's recipes and more delicious ideas <gasps> from our chefs, maybe you'll be oh more God. successful with your aliolo. Uh, head to this morning app. With you what? <laughs> 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 Lou Swimmer next. Hi, Ruth.